it's terrifying when vertigo occurs out of the blue and previously healthy. So how do you know that your dizziness, your vertigo, is something from the inner ear or something from the brain, like a stroke? I hear it all the time. I woke up with vertigo. I thought I was having a stroke. I went to the ER. So when that happens, or if you know somebody that it has happened to, how do we know vertigo is from a stroke or just from an inner ear issue? In today's video, we are going to go over what the presentation looks like for central vertigo, what it looks like per, for peripheral or inner ear, and lastly, what it looks like for BPPV, which is the most common cause of vertigo. So the presentation for a stroke with vertigo, it's not gonna be your classic, I had um, facial drooping, my face went numb, and I lost weakness of my arm and leg on one side of the body. That is a different kind of stroke in the front part of the brain. When vertigo is occurring as a symptom of a stroke, it's probably occurring in the posterior circulation, which includes um, everything back here from the vertebral arteries up through the brainstem and cerebellum. The presentation for central vertigo of the posterior circulation is going to be spontaneous vertigo. Um, it's going to be constant, hours long, nausea, vomiting, that can rather be uncontrollable, um, imbalance or ataxic gait, so it almost looks like you're, you're drunk, uh, walking all over the place, you can move your limbs, you have full strength, but it's almost like you're a baby learning how to walk again. Um, there could be temperature changes in your face, but it doesn't have to include numbness. There could be pupil changes in the eyes and inability to differentiate between hot and cold. And lastly, um, sudden hearing loss with vertigo. That's a little bit harder to identify, but if you have sudden hearing loss and vertigo that are hours long, that could also be a sign of a stroke. I do want to preface that if you do ever have spontaneous vertigo and it's not going away, the only thing that you can do to make sure that you're not having a stroke or something serious is to go to the emergency room and get fully evaluated. This is just a video to help you figure out the differences. So please, if you need to, go to the emergency room to get evaluated for something so serious as this. So what does a vestibular neuronitis or labyrinthitis look like? So that presentation is also going to be hours long. It can be spontaneous as well. Um, your nystagmus, will, the eyes will be bouncing upon examination. Um, you may have a head tilt and your eyes may be out of alignment. You may or may not have hearing loss with this. So as you can see, there's a lot of overlap between a viral infection of the vestibular nerve versus a, something of the central origin like a stroke. Now, the last thing that people also spontaneously get is BPPV. Now, that is a completely different presentation. Um, that is going to be, I get up, and I feel the room spin for 30 to 60 seconds, then it goes away if I lay completely still or sit completely still. Um, might have nausea and vomiting, I might feel a little unsteady on my feet, but I can function. That does not happen with stroke. Stroke is constant for hours. BPPV is short duration, 30 to 60 seconds. So that's a clear way that you can differentiate the presentation between those two things. And I do have a lot of people that say, oh, I went to the ED, they put my head over the edge of the bed and they saw my eye spin. No, don't get misled. If you were having a stroke or a viral attack, any head motion is going to make the nystagmus that is there more pronounced. Um, BPPV, you sit there, you do not have any bouncing vision, and then they put you in that head position and then all of a sudden you get your nystagmus. Um, and then it goes away. So it's fatigability as well. Um, if you had that head in the position and you had a stroke, the nystagmus would keep on going. It is constant. If it's BPPV, it is shorter duration, it fatigues. So that's another thing that they are looking at. Hopefully I answered some of your questions on how to know if the vertigo that you experienced is from a stroker of the brain versus something less sinister like BPPV or vestibular neuronitis. Both can be completely debilitating and anxiety provoking and very terrifying. However, they 
have different treatment approaches. To get a good diagnosis and the best plan of care, we need to be able to distinguish what your symptoms are coming from.